Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 8.4, first question. This is decimal chapter of class 6 and it's based on new syllabus. So we're going to do a subtraction here. This whole exercise is based on subtraction. And you subtract, the first question is subtracting our 18.25 rupees from 20.75. Remember, you're removing this number from 20.75. Subtract means remove it. So we're going to first write down this 20.75 and then you have to write down 18.25. So to solve this, I'm gonna use a lining up method. I'm gonna line up the numbers, line up the decimal here. So it is 20.75. Let me write on the first number. Now the second number, first I'm gonna line up the decimal. On the left side I have a 18, so write down 8 and 1. On the right side I have a 25, so 25. Now subtract it. So 5 minus 5 is 0, 7 minus 2 is 5. Then we have a decimal put that. And the next we have 0 minus 8 which we cannot do. So take a borrow from 2. 2 will become 1 and 0 will become 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. So therefore we got the answer. It is rupees 2.50. Now second question. So we had to remove 202.54 meter from 250 meter. So from, from 250 you have to remove 202.54. So first you want to write down 250 here. Now 250 is a whole number. Remember, in the decimal, suppose you have a decimal number, on the left side of a decimal, it's called whole part. You're gonna have a whole numbers. On the right side, it is called decimal part. Okay, so 250 is a whole number. So decimal is gonna come after that. And then you can place zeros. If you, how many zeros you want, you can place it. I'm gonna place two zeros here, because here after decimal have a 54, two, di two digits are there. The second number is 202. So first line up the decimal. On the left side we have 202. So 202. On the right side we have 54. So 5 and 4. Let's subtract it. So these are in meters. So we cannot subtract 4 from 0. Obviously we have to take a borrow. So when you take a borrow, it will go from 5. 5 will become 4. Followed 0 will become 9. And this will become 9. And this will become 10. So I'm not explaining you how this will work because you have learned this in a lower classes, second, third class you have learned this. I'm just directly doing the subtraction. So 10 minus 4 will become 6. 9 minus 5 will become 4. Then we have a decimal. Write down that. 9 minus 2 is 7. And 4 minus 0 is 4. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So this is equal to. So remember again, remember this point. Uh, whenever you see a zeros in the beginning of the number, that is in the whole part. I'm talking about whole part. When you see a zeros in the beginning, it will not have. It will not going to have any value. Similarly, at the end or like when you see in the decimal part, at the end when you see zeros like here, uh, 2.50. This zero has a no value. You can skip that zero. So here also the zero. I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna just directly write down 47.46 meters. That's it. Now let's go to the next question, third question. So we have to subtract 5.36 rupees from 8.40 rupees. So first is 8.40. So from 8.40 rupees, we have to subtract 5.36. So first place a decimal point. On the left side, we have 5. And on the right side, we have 36. Now subtract these two values. So 0 minus 6 when you do, like we cannot subtract it, so take a borrow. So 4 will become 3 and 0 will become 10. So 10 minus 6 is 4, 3 minus 3 is 0 and place this decimal point here. Now 8 minus 5 is 3, so 3.04. So it is rupees 3.04. So that was third problem. Now next one. fourth problem so we have to subtract 2.051 kilometer from 5.206 kilometer so first we want to write down 5.206 kilometer so from here we have to subtract 2.051 so first place a decimal point on the left side we have a 2 on the right side we have 0 5 1 so 0 5 and 1 and then the subtract normally so 6 minus 1 is 5 0 minus 5 we cannot do it so 2 will become 1 and the 0 will become 10 so 10 minus 5 is 5 1 minus 0 is 1 we have a decimal place that and then 5 minus 2 is 3 so 3.155 kilometer is the answer so this is equal to 3.155 kilometer 
Now last question. So we have to subtract 0.314 kg from 2.107 kg. So first we're going to write down 2.107 kg. 1.07 kg from that you have to subtract 0.314 so put decimal on the left side we have a 0 on the right side we have 314 now subtract it so 7 minus 4 is 3 we cannot subtract 0 like we cannot subtract 1 from uh, 0 take a borrow from 1 so 1 will become 0 and this 0 will become 10 so 10 minus 1 is 9 again next is 0 minus 3 which we cannot do so we're going to take a borrow from 2 here so 2 will become 1 and this 0 will become 10 so this will become 10 minus 3 is 7 now we have decimal place that 1 minus 0 is 1 so this is equal to 1.793 kg so that's it i hope this question is clear it's a normal subtraction only thing is you have to place a decimal point properly in case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.